Hey, what's up everybody? It's Demo. Welcome back. And today I got a package in. Now, this package is the Ghana HDMI switcher, which is a three input, one output switch device for your HDMI cables. And now that we finally cut through this dastardly Amazon package, you can see right here the actual device itself. And it says deluxe computer cable, which is kind of weird. I get it, it's for multiple monitors or switching between different stuff, but it's an HDMI switcher, label it how it is. That's how it's presented on Amazon. So I thought it was just weird that they put it how it's named on the package. I did have to run downstairs and get a mini pair of scissors and yank this out of here, but oh, there it is. It includes one business card, the user manual, which is only like two sides and four pages if you can open it up, and a thank you notice which on my end is terribly off camera, so my bad on that. But we're finally to the device here. So you can see it has input one, two, and three on it, and the output to your TV or monitor. So we got that. This is supposed to be 4K or so it's advertised. And I'm playing on a 1080p TV right now. My 4K is downstairs, so I didn't test that. And I don't know about you, but Peeling the plastic off these things is just, yes. I love it, I don't know, maybe maybe I'm just weird. But you can see, it's kind of made of a cheap plastic and I don't know, it just feels cheap. That's all I'm saying. But right here we got my setup and we're gonna go behind the TV here. You can see a whole bunch of mess of wires right down here and we gotta dig out the Elgato from behind this mess of wires so we can hook this thing up. So yeah, let's pull that thing out of there. This whole section is a complete mess in the back anyway. So we got the Elgato here and on this side is the out end and the out end means it's the HDMI that goes to your TV. So we're not gonna pull that out, we're gonna leave that in and we're gonna pull out the in part of the Elgato, which is your game console plug-in section. And we're gonna unplug the USB too. And we're gonna take our device and we're gonna plug that into the in section of the Elgato, which is gonna be able to capture all of our devices through the switcher. So we're gonna take our device here and we are going to plug in an input one the PlayStation 4. So there's the device plugged into the TV and you can see the Xbox right there but on the bigger TV we have the PlayStation 4. And right here I'm pulling up my capture device OBS so I can see if I can capture the gameplay through the Elgato still. And yes, you can, so fantastic. And right here, we're taking the Xbox One, unplugging that from the smaller TV and plugging it into the HDMI switcher. So we got the PlayStation in one and the Xbox One in two. And to make sure that you can see it works on the Elgato, there I am using the HDMI switcher to switch between consoles. Now, I switched it to three, but I don't have anything plugged in, so it's a black screen, and I switched it back to one. So you can see it does work, and it works through capturing devices, which is great. Now, I'm gonna give you a different view here. All right, so there's my PlayStation, and we got our switcher down here, still same inputs, outputs, whatnot. And down here, you can see it's plugged into the Elgato on the in section, so where the consoles would go. There's the Xbox, there's the PlayStation, and now we are going to switch from one to the other. There's a little button here in the middle, you just press that, the light switches. It takes a second, it really does. And boom, there you have it. There's what it looks like. Now we're gonna hit the button again. I don't have anything plugged in three still, so, you know, there's three, which is just no signal, and we press it again. And sometimes it does take a second, but it's still more efficient than unplugging wires and plugging in wires, because my HDMIs are starting to go bad. 
because I unplug and plug in stuff so much. And this helps a ton if you're trying to film multi systems in one Elgato. This was only $10 on Amazon. I don't know if it was on sale or on a discount, but originally said it was 20. If you want to get something cheap and that works, this is a good temporary option. If you want something that's better, get this first to see if it works out for you. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you next time with a new video. Hope you like what you've seen, and I will talk to you guys later.